We're off to Morrison's in Liz. Here she is. We're going to try and find a couple more presents for people. There's a lot of dogs about, it's nice. I want to get another one of those Stollens as well. Look at this little black dog that coming, Liz. He looks nice. Um, and I need to get presents for my other neighbour. I like all these different dogs. Yeah. There's some like... dogs I'd never think of having though for myself. I like, like I wouldn't have that one. I wouldn't have that one. I, like uh, I saw one like that in the vets and it was wagging his tail and you could see the hair coming off of it as the tail was wagging. I bet you like that one. Yeah. He's lovely. I've returned. I thought I'd show you what I've got my other neighbours. I've got them. A Rudy the reindeer cake. It's a rip-off Colin the Caterpillar, but it's a reindeer. And I've got them some Rudy the Reindeer crumpets, some of the butter that I showed you the other day, some spiced apple tea lights, and two puds. So I'm going to go and take it round to them now, because I want the space. And they're perishable. And they go off before Christmas. <laughs> so I need to get rid of them. That's the present dropped off. So now, me and Lillian are off. We're going at a different time. We're a bit earlier, but I just want to get everything done and sit down until tea time. It's a lovely day again. I really like this. Do you want to turn around? She's very particular about where we go. Normally she... Oh no, there's a squirrel in that tree. Normally she won't come down here. She'd wanted to today. Hello, mister. Or missus. Yeah, she fancied. Normally I can't make her come down here, but something down this way has taken her fancy today. I thought I was being all organised, leaving a box out for my vegetable lady. She's not coming today. She's coming tomorrow. So we'll get that in. Someone out there, that was exciting embarrassing well I've got good news for me not for you I went to Morrison's as you already know delivered my presents they were very pleased I told them they needed to eat them instantly which they were pleased about and when I got there there weren't any um stolen and then I walked down an aisle, walked back again, and by the time I got back, the man was coming out of the bakery with loads, and I got one. Look at that. I picked the best one. I'm gonna have a bit now of a cup of coffee. I'm ready to sit down. I've done a lot of jobs today. This bit is the very end and usually that's the worst bit. But look, that's got Rosie Pan in. And this is the night next slice along that I've just cut as well. Can you just see? So if you love Marzipan, Pan, this is the one to get. Two pounds. It's nearly half past two. And I've just sat down. Normally, I'd be delighted to be sitting down at half past two. But today... I feel like it might as well be midnight. I don't know why. I'm getting into that mode, aren't I? Lazy mode. I've got a cup of tea. Well, I haven't. I've got a coffee. And I'm going to um, have a little nip. Maybe a bit of a read. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to have a nice afternoon. And I hope you have a nice afternoon too. See you later. I'm now going to marzipan my Tesco cake. I'm going to keep this. It's already got some marzipan on, but I want it all over. Look. I'm going to keep the icing on, and I'm just going to marzipan over the top. And then put royal icing on it, because I like royal icing on a cake rather than fondant. I've already taken that off. I'm going to give that to one of the girls. I don't like fondant icing, but I'll eat it when it's covered in marzipan. Right. 
I've changed my mind. I've slid off, I think I'll probably get a bit more off actually, um, the fondant. So I don't want it on there. I'm going to keep that because the more miles you pan the better. So that I'm going to give to the girls. I'll probably get that bit of marzipan off and eat it myself. And then I'm going to cover it, the whole cake with this. Now, I know people probably write in saying, oh, you've got to use apricot jam, but I don't. I use this ginger preserve. It's much nicer. And it's more, I don't know, Christmassy. I like this on my Vita. So I'm going to go and take that to the girls, slather that up, slur it on, and then I'll put the marzipan on. This is the marzipan we've got. Uh, I've tried it and it's lovely. It, we found it really hard to get hold of marzipan. James had to go on one of them things that you stand on to get this from the top, from an area that said staff only. Well, I'm going to roll out what's left of it. <laughs> I've already eaten all that. I love marzipan. The cake has got one layer of marzipan on. I've slarred it up again. And I'm going to put another layer on because I've got enough to do two. It's going to be such a nice cake. All these little bits here, all little bits of ginger. That's going to be a treat, isn't it? When you get one of those, when you cut a slice. Well, when I cut a slice. Ooh, brilliant. Done. So, it's actually got three layers of marzipan, hasn't it? The original from the shop and two from me with lovely ginger preserve in between. Beautiful. Right, tomorrow I'll ice it and decorate it. But for now, my darling, oh, isn't it lovely? Isn't that nice? I love a marzipan cake. I could leave it like this, but I, I do want royal icing on it. I want the spikes. Veg box, veg box, it's my veg box. Christmas veg box. <laughs> right, what we got? We got taties. What we call this? A collie, carrots, broccoli, onions. What's this? Oh, a lovely big parsnip. Swede. Oh, I could have done with that the other day when I was making that pie. Never mind. The carrot was lovely. And of course we've got some sprouts. Oh, lovely. Our Christmas vegetables. I've always said broccoli. Lovely. I'm now making sausage and mash. I might nick a few of these carrots. We've got plenty. We're on our way. Everybody's here. To my favourite place. Uh, I was going to say in the world, but that's a bit much. One of my favourite places, Big Sainsbury's. I haven't been there for ages. I can't even remember. It must have been the school holidays, Liz, when we went, when I last went to Big Sainsbury's. I mean, the summer holidays as well. Yeah, yeah. It might have been since then, I don't know. But we're now going to go and do our big treat shop. On my list is Amaretti Biscuits special favourites and I don't know Johnny wants mini cheddars Meg wants blue naked juice no not naked juice what's it called I don't know blue juice and Lizzie wants uh... jellies I expect oh blimey going around a corner like Daily Thompson no not Daily Thompson Sterling Moss James we're walking back, we can't fit in the car. James has got lots of work stuff in the back. So we're walking home. We don't mind, do we, Johnny? Oh, no. We Five don't mind, five. it's nice. Of course, we got some good stuff, didn't we? Yes. I hope we don't get home before them, because I haven't got a key. I do. I'm back, and as you can see, I'm very windswept. I'm going to show you the treats that I selected. You'll probably think they're quite boring, but I am normally a very boring shopper. I stick to like meat, vegetables. I don't very often buy fancy stuff. I stick to the basics. 
So you probably think, oh, that's boring. I have that all the time. But I don't. I have boring stuff. <laughs> but I'll show you what I've got. Oh, look, I've put my favourite Christmas cloth down. I got this from a charity shop last year. And I'm going to use it on Christmas Day. So the first thing I got, very boring. Pringles. I normally get the barbecue ones, but I had the paprika ones um, on Johnny and Meg's birthday last year. And I love them. So I've got those. For when we have our cheese and biscuits, I got some chilli jam and some Christmas chutney. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And I've also got some really nice mango chutney, but I think that's in the fridge. Still got my beautiful manicure. I got some festive plum conserve with mulled wine. Oh. got sugar plums red wine oh i don't know if i like that actually plum extra jam with red wine and cinnamon i think i will like that what am i on about i love these i get them every year californian honey and salt flavor peanuts <gasps> i also got these ones these are honey and salt as well but these ones have got cashews in. oh my word lovely so i only have this sort of stuff this time of year i picked some little cheeses up for when we have our um cheese <laughs> got these three i'm very excited about that one oh i can't wait i got these my favorites amaretti biscuits again i really only have them this time of year Sometimes I have them on my birthday, but that's it. Oh, I've got some of these to put on top of my special favourites. They'll be lovely. Lizzie's never tried these before, and she's looking forward to having, to trying them. I saw these and couldn't resist them. Poppadoms with mango and red chilli chutney. Cool! They'll be nice with the cheese and crackers as well, won't they? Sorry, I had to stop John from coming in. He's making drinks in a minute. I love granola, but when I've got it in the house, I can't leave it alone. So I save it for this time of year. Spiced honey, clementine and cranberry. Oh my goodness me. I might set my alarm for six o'clock so I can get up and have it. Oh. And then... I thought, hang on, I forgot to get some hay for the guinea pig. So I nicked, nipped in B&M to get some hay. And look what I found. I bought three packets. There were loads more for the other Caramac lovers of the world. So I wasn't greedy and took the lot. But these were three pounds for these. What a bargain. And you can't get them anymore. They're stopping them, aren't they? So once they're gone, they're gone. Lovely. And then I got a right old bargain. I got this. It's a taste me, don't waste me box. Fruit and vegetable box. And it was two pounds. Now, not a very good first impression. But once that's chopped off, chopped up off and peeled, that's lovely in there. There's nothing wrong with that. So I've got another Swede. I'm going to put that in with the Christmas stuff. The guinea pigs absolutely love these. Look, look at the date as well. Sweet gem lettuce. They'll love that. I might put my whole one in actually. They'll really enjoy that tonight. There's a bit of plastic on that to make sure I get it off. See, that one's the 21st, so maybe those two shouldn't have been in there. And then we've got a bag of spinach. And that they'll eat that tonight as well. Or in the morning. That's fine. And then look, I've got a bag of these and all these, two pounds. I'm making a curry tomorrow night so they can go in the curry. I need lemon to put in my icing and these potatoes, there's nothing wrong with them at all. Two pounds, everybody. I can make an apple crumble with all these apples and the guinea pigs love tomatoes as well. And I've got some garlic. What a bargain. 
So look out for them. I didn't know that they did them in Sainsbury's. Good, aren't they? Two quid, everybody, two quid. The guinea pigs will be delighted. So that's it. That's everything. I've had a great time. The children have had a great time. They've taken all their bags upstairs. They're allowed to keep whatever they get in their bedroom. Because... I don't really mind, they can have it, I don't mind. Look at my rosy cheeks. Right, I'm gonna sit down now, have a special favourite, and one of these Stroop waffles. And then tomorrow, me and the children have got a day of baking. You picked up some good stuff, didn't you, Meg? Mm -hmm. Meg got the journey back in the car. Of course, her knee still hurts, doesn't it? But it is getting a bit better, isn't mm -hmm. it? Right, everybody. Look, there's James's horrible stuff in the background, still there. I will see you all in the morning. We're going to do some cooking and fill up our tins. Bye-bye.